Hello everybody, welcome back to the Dragon King Entertainment Channel with me, Bad Quality Bear, aka Bear, and Dragon King Entertainment himself, aka Dragon. Well, we are continuing watching Gravity Falls Season 2, Episode 20, when we get them free, Take Back the Falls, where it's a pretty interesting episode, if I do say so myself. Very anime. <laughs> Very action. At the start of it, not so much, because that's the... The story yeah. building part, he's, he's got to build on from where he last left off. He's got to obviously, he's showing you what everyone's been up to since the last shot we had was the, all the characters, like monsters, mm. humans, kind of like trapped inside the shack. So this is kind of explaining everything about that. Yeah. He's then got the build plot carrying on of him trying to figure out how to take over the world. Turns out he just needs essentially an equation, which only Ford knows. And then, of course, we get our big action spectacle at the end, which, FYI, it's been a long time since I watched Gravity Falls. And last episode, I pointed out that I wanted to see a kaiju battle between a giant, the giant goat and Wallows the pig when he was giant, but it never happened. But now, I, I, battle, I, I, now I got a Pacific Rim-style battle between the Mystery Shack machine versus, obviously, uh, all these monsters and Bill. And yeah. honestly... Fucking loved it. That whole battle. I mean, I love every part of the Mr. Shack. He's just a reference. You got the T Rex head from obviously the underground dinosaur part. You've got obviously the gobble walker as the back. Yeah. Um. You've got gravity fall sign attached to the leg. Uh. There's different little references and obviously just different parts of the town combined with the shack to make yeah. this giant weapon. Um. Which obviously is there to just destroy the monsters and Bill. And as I say, you get this massive spectacle at the end with it going around. Just Using these different things, obviously the T Rex even still roars, which is crazy. Uh, that obviously attacking, obviously can still grab things. Um, yeah. The Gobwalker grabbing all the eyeballs at the sky. The totem poles like a cannon now, mm -hmm. um, and it's just like well, oh, this is just amazing. This is like everything you'd want, like, especially after having this more slowed. Obviously, I pointed out last time. Obviously, the second episode was more slowed down, more story yeah. building compared to the very obviously adrenaline. High octane, blood pumping first episode, and this first half is that second episode again. It's more story building. It's more explaining what's to come, and that last part is very much the first episode again. It's very quick. It's very action packed, and yeah. you get a lot of uh, characters. You obviously you get a lot of characters back, and there's a lot of really humorous moments within it, especially when they get these characters back. So you got you got really heartwarming stuff like Wendy of a family. Um, you've got obviously um, obviously uh. Pacific with, with her That's mom it. and dad, and then you've also got the police officer <laughs> who just pushes just, them yeah. all out the way to get his deputy officer Derling back, and it's like this really heartwarming, sad. But at the same time, so fucking hilarious moment of them just crying, hugging it out because that's all he's wanted. I feel like that's why he went with them because obviously you have this rescue yeah. team while the rest stay behind in the obviously this obviously in the shack fighting. Mm. So the rescue team is obviously your Pines family, uh, Pacifica, uh, Zeus, Wendy, Wendy, and obviously the the police officer. So, the uh, dubs. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. And um, I, I like the fact. I'm guessing the only reason he's there is just because he wants to get his deputy back. Mm. So obviously, Wendy's there for obviously a family and probably her friends. Obviously, they're the rest of them are there ready for obviously uh, Sta obviously Sta Stanford. Um, and obviously, he's there very clearly. Obviously, Pacifica for a fat parent, sorry, as well. And obviously, he's there just straight for that deputy. That's all he wants. I mean, he even pushes everyone out of the way just to get to him. And it's just like, perfect. Uh, I, I mean, mean technically speaking, you also, way. you also get, obviously, what's his name? Because we're from um, the Hillbilly. Old Man McCucket. Yeah. Even he, even he goes with him. Because obviously he's the one who builds the shack. Because he humorously yeah. states that it's the first time he's built an invention not for evil. Because <laughs> every other robot he's ever built has been not for evil. I mean, God Walker was to obviously yeah. terrorize people. Obviously, he built didn't he build one to, to Gaffrey's ex-wife or something like that? Yeah, and he also built Gideon, uh, Me Mecha Gideon. Yes, he did. So he's always building them just for evil moments. But this is the first time he's built something for good. And so it's, we get this massive, incredible battle. That, uh, so this, we got this really good story building at the start, and we get this really great action sequence at the end. Yeah. And we even get this massive cliffhanger right at the end where uh, it turns out there's a prophecy that can stop, uh, obviously, Bill. And it's basically each prophecy is a certain p person related to the symbol. Um, 
And of course, everyone gets together. So you've got Pacifica, you've got Robbie, you've got Wendy, you've got the Pines family, you've got um, Zeus, you've got Old Mama Gucket. Um, is that everyone? Um, Pines family, Robbie. Uh, I think that was everyone, wasn't it? I think so. So obviously you get them all... Um, a lot of them have the symbols on their chest, which is why they're like, oh, wait, that's me. And then some of them, as they stated, are more m- sort of metaphoric, like, not, not actual, like, the, yeah. the actual on them. It's more about them as a person. So obviously Wendy being, like, cool in the face of danger, which is why she's a bag of ice. And the spectacles being, obviously, someone smart, which is obviously Old Man McGucket. Mm. Um, question mark. That one's unsolvable. <laughs> it really is. It's really, uh, it's really... Fucking serious. Uh, and then of course then obviously you got the the weird like fish thing which obviously meant to be yeah. obviously uh, Stan's hat but of course Stan's being a dick and just kind of wants to thank your Ford for yeah. gives him that and then they start bickering and it causes the whole plan just to collapse and by that point Bill's already taking care of the robot because when I'm watching that fight I was watching it constantly was obviously because the Shaq's got a shield around it which is why nothing can get in yeah. I was constantly watching like the legs don't have the shield and I was like yeah and the arms Obviously, that's the only things that don't have anything protecting them. And obviously, Bill spots that and takes them out that way. And obviously, yeah. it ends with him watching over them, about to destroy them. And it's like that is how you end an episode, heading into the yeah. finale. It's such a, it's a good solid. Again, this 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 horse we mentioned last time is being perfectly fucking drawn so far, and it's getting it's getting to the point where it's going to be a masterpiece. Because again, this episode is another solid episode. Which combines yeah. what you had in episode one and episode two. Action, story, boom. What and you comedy. Want. And comedy, yes. It even adds a bit more comedy as well for some moments, which is perfect. Definitely. Which, oh, it's so good. It's, uh, that, it's just so good. It's really good. So, yeah, so it, it, it's another solid episode, uh, which has everything you want action, comedy, story. Mm-hmm. It's got the works. Uh, it even has a massive kaiju battle. What more can you want? And if you're into anime, there's even anime reference. Yeah. Because Zeus references anime. Because he's on about uh, gun swords or something like that, was it? Yeah. And obviously, my book, it's like, that's anime. He's like, oh, here we go. And even there's even like even the montage when they're building this giant monstrosity. It's even him like showing him the like, anime on TV. And he's just right there like, yep, yep, yep. Taking notes. So, uh, one thing I like about this as well, obviously, is the fact there's all the monsters and humans working to get, working together. Yeah. So stuff that we've seen as villainous on there on the side of good. I'm I'm talking about the gnomes specifically, and also yeah. the obviously the fight fighter, because even yeah. he's helping out with this fight now. Because in the final, when they're fighting on obviously the the, the mech suit just attacking everything, obviously he's obviously hadoukening all the fucking yeah. uh, the eyeballs at the sky, which is pretty cool. Um. It was nice to see Wendy get a bit of action as well in yeah, the action. Because she jumped on the fucking the eye and she's like ball. zapping everything, which is pretty cool. Um, so it's a really good solid battle. Of a, uh, overall, the episode is just chock full of references to episodes we've seen in the past, um, and char- obviously from like characters or just moments we've seen, which is pretty cool. And it's what you kind of it's what you kind of want heading into the last episode. You want some throwbacks. As long as they're not too forced, like as long as they're not, like you can, if you put a throwback and you're like, well, you can get rid of that. It's not really, you know, it's, it's not really yeah. needed. I feel like every throwback in this is fine because it yeah. all it all works for me in a way, which is what you want from a throwback. You don't want it just to be, oh, it's it's just there for nostalgic reasons. It you want it there for actual reasons, reasons, and I think it does give you that nostalgic feel from previous episodes while also giving you the feel of oh yeah it makes sense why that's there i.e the gobble walker like for, you're yeah. like that makes sense being there because it's obviously McGuck creating this creation it makes sense that he'd have yeah. uh, his parks obviously they all play their own parts obviously uh grenda is using obviously the big fucking the t-rex uh yeah. obviously um and he's and using the, the other one yeah the other arm and uh, so the 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 bear multi-bear's got all the different like uh Periscopes yeah, looking out. And the yeah. same it obviously has the control over the Gobble Walker, which makes sense why that was attached to it. Because it's yeah. his it's the first time you saw him. So it makes yeah, sense that literally the second episode. Exactly. So it makes sense that 
his obviously his choice of weapon in this machine would be his creation. Yeah, which is pretty. It's pretty cool. Oh, definitely. Anything else, want, anything else you want to add? Well, this episode was a ten out of ten. <laughs> Until I pointed out that you're no longer the pizza guy. Yeah, it's not a one. <laughs> That's ten out of ten. Nothing's going to change that. It's a ten out of ten yeah, video. Exactly. Episode. Solid third part of this quadrilogy. Ten out of ten mm. for me as well. Just hoping that obviously the last part completes this majestic horse. Yeah. And if you liked what you saw, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Wanna tell us what you think about the episode? Fuck off, horn. Um <laughs> if you wanna leave a comment down below of what you thought, then go ahead. We we read all the comments. Um if you wanna check me out, check me out on Twitch or on my own YouTube channel. Um and if you wanna see some other stuff, then make maybe check out our other things that we've been in like we've done raft with recorded uh, reviews for dragon prince so yeah just check us out one more episode to go one more episode to go <sighs> so i got my sword um i'll be doing this on the uh, sword guns yet uh I'm, I'm gonna have to sit down with you and explain this whole anime thing to alex it's 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 not real yes it is no it's not Yes, it is. This is reality. Damn you! you. (laughs) (laughs) I'm leaving this in, by the way. No. (laughs) If you like what you've seen, don't be afraid to uh, throw us a little like and uh, subscribe. That's always very appreciated over here. And uh, well, I'll see you on the next video.